Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna introduce you guys to the multifunctional stand that I have right here for the Xbox Series S console. I just picked this up off of Amazon and it looks really promising, so we're going to unbox it today. We're gonna to set it up, see what it has to offer our console. Let's dive into it. All right, guys, here we've got our Xbox Series S multifunctional stand. So you can see right on the front here, they do a great job of outlining a couple different key features here. So we've got dual cooling fan, we've got dual controller charger, RGB lighting, USB 3.1 charging point, as well as storage on here. And you can see how it's supposed to look within. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this, see what it offers us. All right, guys, so here is our base. Now we can clearly see exactly where our two controllers would go on here to charge them up. We can see where the dual cooling fans are located on here. And there's also a front display here, which once we plug this on and power it on, I think we're going to see it all light up and really come together here. Now, before we do set up this with a uh, Xbox console, I do wanna show you guys the back as well. So we do have the input, and that is gonna be where we bring in our power supply cable. That's our type C to USB-A connection and the USB-A doesn't have to go into a power outlet or anything like that. You can plug this directly into your Xbox Series S console. Now we also have over here a regular USB and a USB 3.1 port. So we could charge external um, devices right off of there if we wanted to. We could plug in our iPhone charger, charge up our iPhone if we wanted to. So I think that's a really cool way to actually have some external connections and obviously get some functionality out of that. Now let's turn this around and actually we'll turn it like that for right now. I've got my Xbox Series S ready to go. All we have to do is simply drop it into place. It locks right into place automatically. You can see how easy that is. I'll turn it around like this. Actually, I got to, of course, make that connection in the back. So in order to power the base, we just bring this up, plug it into one of the open USB ports on the back of our console. Now, as soon as we power up our Xbox console, it's automatically going to power up our base here. And now I'm going to swap out the battery on my controller. So I'm gonna put in one of the provided batteries here, which are rechargeable. Currently I have some double A's in there. So I've got that in here. And all I have to do now with my controller is simply seat it down here like so. And now once we power this on, which let me just plug this into the power outlet back here, we should be good to go. And look, it lights up automatically here. Um, we can, obviously we're charging currently on here and we have two displays for both controllers that would be charging. Obviously I only have one on right now, but both of these light up. Now we also have a fan speed indicator right here in the middle. That's what this LED light is down here. So what we can do is over here, we have a fan button. We can adjust the speed by tapping this button. So right now we're on high. We tap it again it'll kill it completely notice how everything is no longer lit up on the um, center indicator we can tap it again that's going to be low again for medium and then third time is going to bring it up on high so that is obviously running at the fastest speed the most efficient way to cool your xbox series s which i do have a video on how these do heat up so i think it's awesome to have cooling fans for an xbox series s console just to keep everything nice and cool so now we can also change the lights around here. You notice we have lights all around the entire base. They wrap all the way around to the back side on both sides. So we have this button over here that we can tap and it's gonna change to different light modes on here. So we have the more busy rainbow that kind of circles around. We can do quicker, um, you know, more solid colors here, a couple different configurations. And then we have the slower rainbow as well. So I'm gonna kill the lights, show you guys how everything looks on here when everything is dark or dimly lit in the room because it definitely pops a lot more that way. But this is an awesome setup. I love how it is functional, but also a, a very neat and tidy way to bring everything together. We can obviously charge right off of this, which for me is huge because I always, when I'm done gaming, I leave it like this and I forget to charge it, I come to game the next day and it's dead. So I have to swap out batteries or wait while it quickly charges up. So this is just an efficient way to charge. It looks really cool, but it's also a great way to keep everything neat and tidy on here. Now we also have this little holder for headphones, which I don't really use headphones a whole lot on my Xbox console, but they just click right into place. You can move them anywhere on the top. You can put it on this side, that side. You can even put it 
um, all the way on the back if you wanted to, like that. You, I mean, you could even put it on the front. I don't think you necessarily would want to, but you could put it just like that if you wanted to, um, right here on the front of your console, just wherever you want to. So I like that it's not a set location. You can customize it to your personal preference. But let me kill the lights. I'll show you how this looks. But that is going to do it for today. This is an awesome setup right here. All right, guys, we unboxed and set up this multifunctional stand for the Xbox Series S console, and I think that it's an awesome product. It has a little bit of everything on here, but most importantly, it looks really cool, and it's a great way to keep everything neat and tidy. I'm somebody that is just always a mess. I'm always battling that, and with this, I can get my controllers charged up when I'm not gaming right on the exact same stand. Keeps everything together. I don't have to have everything sprawled out. Um, it doesn't use any real additional cables. We have that one Type-C to USB-A that plugs directly into the backside of the console. So it really doesn't add a whole lot to our setup. Just one cable connection powers the entire thing. We can charge our controllers right on the top just by seating them into the two charging bays. Uh, it just doesn't get any easier or more convenient than using this. And it also delivers some exceptional cooling on here. The fans run directly right into the console. Um, we can adjust externally the settings on there to turn the fan off if we want to. We can put it on low, medium, or on high. So we can just do a bunch of different adjustments here to tailor the experience to ourselves. We also have the LED lights, which we can also change the configuration of, change the color of, you know, have them scrolling, have them moving really quick or really slow, whatever we want to do there. And that's what really ties everything together and makes it look really cool for me. So I'm going to put a link up here at the top of your screen, also in the description of this video. If this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and click the link, get some additional information on it. But that is going to do it for today. Let me know what you guys thought of this multifunctional stand, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Be sure to hit subscribe.